you are doing well. Welcome back to social science class. Children, what we have learned in the previous class, do you remember? Yes, the three sectors which were there, tell me, primary sector, yes, secondary sector, then tertiary sector. Then we learned primary sector is known as agriculture sector and the secondary sector is known as industry sector and the third sector tertiary sector is known as service sector. These are the three sectors we have learned in the previous class. Today we are going to discuss a new topic. Are you ready? If you are ready, let's get started. Economic growth takes place when the primary, secondary and tertiary sector functioning in a world. Primary sector, secondary sector, tertiary sector, one of the things that we For example, raw cotton a product of primary sector is a raw material to the textile industry. The services of transport and communication are essential for supplying these products to the customers. All these are services of tertiary sector. Children, look at the picture. The picture shows the interrelation among these sectors. See primary sector to secondary sector, secondary sector to tertiary sector, tertiary sector to primary sector. Economic growth takes place when primary, secondary and tertiary sectors function as a whole. Central Statistical Office or CSO has classified the economic activities included the primary, secondary and tertiary sector in the given table. Children, look at the table. Primary sector includes Agriculture and allied activities means Krishium Anubandha Pravartanangalu. Forestry means Vana Parivadana. Fishing and mining. Mining means Ganana. Secondary sector includes industry. That means Vavasaya. Generation of electricity means Vaidadhyulpadanam. Building construction, Kittadadarmana. Then Tertiary sector includes trade, vavasayam, transport, hotel, communication, communication, vartha vinamaya. Then procurement, it means samparanam, banking, insurance, business, real estate and social services. Social services means samuhya sevana pravartana. Children, there is a question for you. What is the expand form of CSO? Yes, Central Statistical Office. Very good. Central Statistical Office or CSO. CSO is an institution that works under the Ministry of Statistics and program implementation. The important functions of CSO is coordinate and analyze data, collect data of all sectors and process it for planning purpose, estimate national income using data. Children, now let's move on to the sectors and related employment opportunities. 
every occupation in our country falls under primary secondary and tertiary sectors in our country the employment opportunity in primary secondary and tertiary tertiary sector varies children look at the table showing the percentage of employment opportunity in different sector from 1993 to 2011 percentage of employment availability in each sector sectors year 1993 2005 and 2011 in primary sector in 1993 64.9 in 2005 56.5 and 2011 53.2 the percentage of employment availability in secondary sector in 1993 14.2 2005 18.7 and 2011 21.5 percentage of employment availability in tertiary sector in 1993 20.9 2005 24.8 2011 25.3 So children it is a question for you which sector shows an increased trend in the availability of employment Yes secondary and tertiary sector very good Then next question which sector shows highest availability of employment in all periods yes of course primary sector third question how much is the employment availability in primary sector greater than that of other two sectors in 2011 find out yes 27.9 very good children you have seen that primary sector have more employment opportunity than other sectors the food requirement met with agricultural sector in our country got it children what we have learned today yes we learn central statistical office or cso economic activities included primary secondary and tertiary sectors then we learn sectors and related employment opportunities these are the main topics we learn today today This is for today's class. I will meet you soon with a new topic. Be safe until we meet again. Thank you for being with me. Have a good day.